Crimes of Passion in the United Kingdom, Yael. Uh, oh, Keith and you Vaz. Think politics in <laughs> Israel is another, exciting, but no. Yeah. Yet, yet, another, yet another British sex scandal. Yes. Uh, Keith Vaz is going to have to step down as the Commons Committee chair after a sex claim, as the Daily Mirror exposed this. Uh, he's oh. going to be accused of paying for st the services of male prostitutes. There's a lot of uh, graphic images and videos and recordings. And graphic images, videos, recordings, <laughs> sex scandals. Who to turn to? Jonathan Sachidati joining us live from London, I-24 News Europe. And correspondent Jonathan, am I so happy to see you this morning? Okay, I don't even know where to begin. What is happening there? Well, it's not been a good summer for the Labour Party, and no, this seems like the last no. thing they needed. <laughs> Keith okay. Baz, one of their senior figures and the chairman of that Commons Committee, now being found and recorded by the Sunday Mirror. Uh, to have been pretending to be a washing machine salesman and hiring Eastern European male prostitutes who he offered poppers to and offered to pay for cocaine for, according to the allegations made by that paper. Now, of course, he is embroiled in this controversy. They're asking whether or not he's going to step down as chairman of that important committee. He, weirdly, is not saying whether he is. You would have thought that this was something of a foregone conclusion and that this would be the end of his career. But he has been known as Teflon Vaz in the past. How, I know, but how do you... Get, Vaseline is a great... But, Jonathan, how do you Teflon yourself away from this? I actually did investigative journalism this morning, and I heard and I read the, the text, and I heard the mm -hmm. tape. FYI. What are poppers, please? Can you explain to our viewers internationally? I have no idea what that is. So actually, poppers entered the news here in the UK recently because there was some move within Parliament to ban them. They are a legal high that are used quite often by people in the gay community during sex. They provide a sort of rush to the head during sex and heighten the experience. Mr. Vaz was against the banning of those, as were other MPs, saying that they were quite mainstream and mm. currently legal. Right. Uh, now, how could he get out of this controversy? Well, there's a clue in what the Telegraph is reporting today that one of his friends said that, in fact, Act, these people that he's he's determined to prove his innocence and that the people who recorded him in his apartment talking about unprotected sex with male prostitutes were actually decorators, painters, who'd come to decorate a new flat he'd bought close to his family's home in Stanmore, Middlesex. It'll be interesting if he does pursue that line of argument because the recordings do seem to show plenty of discussion about sex. And oh, the I've, I've, Jonathan, don't worry. I've, I've heard the recordings. <laughs> and, I mean, actually, they are available on, online on the Mirror website. It's, it's going to be fascinating to see if he, if he comes out of it. But as you mentioned, the Labour Party not having a good summer. That said, Jonathan, I personally find and people will agree with me around this day because I can't really talk about this story seriously that British people can do whatever they want really? but they sound really well <laughs> you know don't you think it's the accent so Jonathan do not use that as an excuse to go out and kill somebody right now but thank you so much for joining us um, uh, this morning on the on this incredibly <laughs> British political story yes yeah. one last one one last yeah, one uh, no no more time no we're more out time. of time I'm sad I was just completely lost by the poppers mm -hmm. do stay with us because the <laughs> Venice Film Festival um, and we're going to take a closer look at that one, um, and there's a lot of legal stuff there. Stay with us. Now the news.